Hey guys, I'm here for We Read Books, and this is my first book review for them. I am very happy to be accepted into the little group of people um, for We Read Books, the channel, the collaboration channel. Um, a little bit about me. I started doing book reviews on YouTube in 2010. I think it was back in April or May, and I'm very um, consistent. I read all the time. I'm a very voracious reader. I'm constantly putting up book reviews, book hauls, um, stuff like that. I also have a book blog, which I'll put in the thingy at the bottom. I'm on Goodreads, and I am on Twitter. So uh, I am very much into reading. My first book review is going to be on Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. And the first thing we need to say about this book is the cover. How beautiful this cover is. And I absolutely love when you can open a book and the cover extends all the way across to the back cover. This is just so, so beautiful. I love the pinks in her dress. I love how the author's name is written in pink. And then if you turn the book over, you have baby blue and pink alternating down. So yeah, very, very good book. This is a debut author for Kirsten White in 2010. I just recently got the book because I have not really been into reading paranormals lately. I actually have a bunch of paranormal books, especially bind ups on my shelf that have been sitting there for quite some months because I just have not been in the mood to read them. But this book has gotten so many rave reviews on it, and Mary from Sparkling Reviews lists books on eBay uh, for five bucks, and she combines shipping, and this is up there. So I'm like, five dollars for a hardback, it's brand new, why not? Um, and then I had somebody request that I do a review on this within the next few weeks, and since I was just finished a book, I said, you know what, let me read it. And I am so glad that I did. This book is 335 pages. I finished it in one day. I finished it yesterday. I did not want to put this book down. Could not put this book down. Um, it was just, it blew me away. It was so good from the first chapter, from the first page. Um, if you follow my Twitters, I do update that regularly um, about what I'm thinking about a book and so forth because I do it, you know, straight from my phone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read you the inside flap on this if you're not familiar with this book. Where's, weird as it is, working for the International Paranormal Containment Agency, which is also called IPCA for short in the book, Evie's always thought of herself as normal. Sure, her best friend is a mermaid, her ex-boyfriend is a fairy, she's falling for a shapeshifter, and she's the only person who can see through paranormals as glamours, but still, normal. Only now paranormals are dying, and Evie's dreams are filled with haunting voices and mysterious prophecies. She soon realizes that there may be a link between her abilities and the sudden rash of deaths. Not only that, but she may very well be at the center of a dark fairy prophecy promising destruction to all paranormal creatures. So much for normal. If you are looking for a paranormal book that is about vampires attacking people and sucking their blood and um, werewolves, you know, attacking people and just like the scary and eerie stuff, this isn't the book then. This book is a light book. It's a funny book. Um, I absolutely adored this book, and usually I'm more for the more drama, the more deeper meaning books, um, but like I said, I was greatly surprised, pleasantly surprised by this book. Um, if there is a sequel, I will definitely pick it up. If Kirsten White, White writes another book, which I'm sure she will, I'm definitely going to read it. If it was not for the character Evie in here, which is the main character, who is the 16-year-old girl for, that works for IPCA, um, this book still would have been good, but she really made the book. Um, she's 16 years old. She was found wandering in a cemetery when she was three years old. And they took her, I think it was three years old. Um, she went through foster care. And I think it was when she was eight that they actually, the IPCA actually came across her and took her in. Um. And she has been, since the age of eight, she has been working for them, uh, going out and tagging uh, paranormals, which basically means putting an ankle bracelet on them, which is a tracker. And basically that's what she does. Um, 
you know, a lot of times she meets with resistance with them, so, you know, she has to be strong. <laughs> um, but she's so witty, and she's so funny. Um, she is a typical 16-year-old with a little bit of a smart mouth, and I just love her. Um, she gets a little bit rebellious in this book um, because she doesn't want to be trapped at IPCA. She wants to go to high school. She's never been to high school. And there's just a, she never had a boyfriend. There's just a lot of things, like a real boyfriend. She's never been kissed. So there's like a lot of things that she wants to do, but she can't really do being in the IPCA. Um, so she does. She gets a little bit rebellious, and it's just it's fun uh, to read it. Um, there's also, though, drama that happens in here. Um, action that happens in here, suspense that happens in here. Um, you meet, uh, you know, a good cast of characters. Uh, you have a mermaid. You have werewolves, vampires, shapeshifters, fairies, a hag, um, sprites. Um, it's just such an array of of different paranormal characters, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, you definitely have to pick this book up. Evie, um, you know, like I said, she gets a little bit rebellious because she wants to do all these things, and that ends up causing some chaos um, and gets her into a little bit of trouble. Um, she actually falls for a paranormal that she shouldn't fall for at first, and there's also a love triangle in here. So that's always fun, too. Um, yeah, you just definitely have to pick this book up. It is just such a, a good, good book. And I give it about four and a half out of five stars um, because the ending, something that the ending I just didn't care for, and the ending is usually what pushes me to make my final decision. Excuse me. And at first this was going for a five, and I just, like I said, something with the ending just didn't sit right with me. So I got bumped down to a four and a half, which is still... A great great rating I don't always rate my books on stars because sometimes there's just too much going on in a book and sometimes in a book you got really good sections and you got really bad sections and but the whole together you know comes together or something else um, Priscilla from the readables actually does readable or unreadable she doesn't do star ratings and so some of my books I kind of do the same thing um, because sometimes it's just too too difficult if you will, to put an actual star rating on a book. Um, but yeah. So, Paranormalcy by Kirsten White. Definitely pick this book up. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.